In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this night sky scene using Adobe Illustrator. Now, it's a little bit more complex than what we've done in the past, but again, if we break this down, it isn't too hard. I will be splitting this tutorial up into two videos. In the first one, we're just going to worry about the silhouette, which is the tree branch and the birds. And then in the second video, we'll come back and we'll get the background sorted. So that's the sky with the stars and the moon in it. All right, so let's get started by jumping over to Illustrator and making ourselves a new document. We're going to choose the web templates and as always just go with that minimum template of 1024 by 768 pixels and click on create. Now the first thing we want to do is draw the tree branch into our artwork. So to do that we need to draw a triangle first up. Okay so I'm going to go to my shapes and grab the polygon tool. Click, um, actually don't click on your page yet, we want to get the colors right. So in your appearance change your fill to black and your stroke to nothing. So we're going to turn that off. Remember we're drawing the silhouette here, so everything we draw in this video is going to be black. Now to draw a triangle, just click once on your page, set the number of sides to three, and the radius, that can be whatever you want because we're about to resize it. I'll just make it 200 pixels for now. Using my selection tool, I'm going to hover around one of these corners and hold shift, and I'm going to rotate the triangle to the right like so. I'm then going to just stretch it out so it fills up most of the page and I'm going to make it skinny so it looks something like that. The last thing I'm going to do is grab my direct selection tool, so the white arrow, click on the shape and if you look carefully you can see these two white circles at the bottom of the triangle here. I'll zoom in a bit so you can see them clearer. What we need to do is click on one of these little circles the white arrow and then hold shift and then click on the other one and that selects both of those corners and if you grab one of those um, circles now you don't have to hold shift for this bit click and drag in a little bit and you'll see that the corners become rounded we don't want to round them too far like that that'll look a bit silly so just uh, round them off a little bit like so and then zoom back out and you've got your general shape that we need to create this tree branch. Now we're going to be using a new technique here that we haven't used before to create this tree branch. We're actually going to be turning this shape into what we call a brush. So what you'll need to do here is grab your window menu and go down and select brushes and that pops up your um, brushes library. We're simply going to pick up this shape and drop it into the brushes library. When we do that it recognizes we're making a new brush so let's call it, oh sorry, let's make this an art brush. Click OK. And we'll give it a name. Uh, we might call it branch. Um, all these settings here are going to stay the same. We will change the brush scale options to the first one. So it scales proportionally. And looking down a little bit further, you've got this colorization section. Just change the method there to tints. Click on OK. And you can see now in your brush library, you've got this brush created. Oops, I shouldn't have clicked on that. Now on your page, you can delete what you've drawn. We don't need that anymore. And we can just push that brushes library to the side for a moment. What we're going to do now is use this brush to draw a, tr a tree branch. So just select this um, brush shape. And from your toolbox on the left hand side, go down to about your sixth tool down. It's the paintbrush tool. And all you need to do now is simply click and draw on your screen. So if I draw a bit of a wave like this, it's using that shape we just created to make that path there. What I want you to do is just do a little wavy shape, starting on the left hand edge, and I want you to go up and down to make a tree branch. I guess that's not a bad one. Might try a better looking one though. That one looks a bit better. Okay, we want this little area down here for the birds to be sitting, and this area up here uh, for the branches to grow out of. Okay, so I'm just going to push that across a little bit to the edge. That's pretty much what your tree, tree branch should look like. Don't worry if it's not exactly the same as mine, that's fine. Uh, but that's how I'm going to keep mine for now. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is get some little branches growing out of this one. So I'm going to go back to my brush library here and double click on this um, branch brush that we put in before. We're going to change the width here. If you look across, it's at 100% at the moment. I want it half the size, so about 50%. And click OK. A box will come up saying um, this brush is already in use and do we want to affect or want these changes to affect the um, branch we've already drawn. We're just going to say leave strokes because we don't want it to affect this branch we've already drawn. We don't want it to change the size. 
Okay, so we're now ready to go and grab our paintbrush tool again, and we're just going to draw some little branches this time. So watch this, I'll just click and drag out, and the branches are going to be a little bit skinnier. If you wanted to, if you find that too skinny, you can turn the stroke up over here. So it's at one point at the moment. If we make it two point and try and draw it again, see the branch comes out a little bit thicker. Okay, so I'm going to draw a couple of thick branches to start with here. I'll do one down here. They're not looking overly great, but uh, I guess they'll do for now. And then I'll change it back to one point for the stroke here, and then just add a few more little skinny branches. Okay, so just click and drag off these um, branches you've drawn already. You can even add another big one here. Now if you make a little mistake like this where it doesn't quite match up, don't stress, we're going to fix that in just a moment. Uh, just get all your little branches on that you want drawn on for now. Alright, I reckon that's looking pretty good. Okay, so what you'll do now is just tidy up some of those imperfections like the one I just showed you just here. And the way we do it is we grab our direct selection tool, which is the white arrow, and we click on the bit we want to change. So I'm going to click on this one. And see the anchor point right at the end. I'm going to click on that little blue square once, and then I'm going to click on it again and drag it. And just move it around until I'm happy with how it looks. It might even need a bit of a rotate this shape. So using my selection tool, I can just hover around the edges and give it a bit of a rotate. Move it around a little bit. It's got quite a fat base, this one, so it's proving a little bit difficult to work with. Um, might even see if I can drop that down to a little bit skinnier size, maybe half a point. There we go, that works a little bit better. Okay, now using your direct selection tool again, go around and check all the other branches, just make sure they're all connecting up okay. You can see this one here doesn't quite connect to the main branch very well, so I'm going to click on this anchor point at the end and just pull it down a bit. And that looks a bit nicer. They're all good. They're all good, so I think we've got our branches looking pretty sweet now. So zooming back by press, pressing Control Zero, um, we can have a look. I think our branch looks pretty good. So the next thing we're going to do to this branch is get some little leaves growing out of these um, smaller branches. To do that, we need to draw a leaf first of all, and the way we do a leaf is with the ellipse tool. So instead of drawing a circle this time, we're going to draw an oval. Get your colours sorted first. Remember black for our fill and nothing for our stroke. Draw yourself a little oval onto the screen, which will be the start of our leaf. Now that's where it's a little bit tricky, um, so watch what I do here carefully. I'm going to use my direct selection tool, the white arrow, and click on this oval. Now I'm going to click and drag over this end point here, so this little anchor point. And what I want to do is convert that anchor point into a corner rather than a rounded shape. So with this selected, this corner, I can go across to my Properties panel here and find this Convert section. And look for this little symbol here, Convert Selected Anchor Points to Corner. When you press it, you can see it makes it into a corner. I want you to do the same for the other end. So highlight that other end, and then convert it to a corner. Okay, so that's starting to look a bit more like a leaf. Last thing I want you to do is highlight these two anchor points in the middle of the leaf by simply clicking and dragging over that middle section only. Again, we're using that direct selection tool. Now, it won't show you that you've selected them, but trust me, once you've clicked and dragged over it, you have selected them. And what I want you to do is press or hold down the shift key and press your left arrow once. Okay, and you can see what that does. If you push it to the right, we'll do that. Uh, but that's what we're going to be doing to make a little leaf. I might even just pull that out a little bit, so it's got a bit more of a point. Now that doesn't look too bad. Okay, so that's my leaf right there. I'm going to draw a little stem on that leaf now by using my rectangle tool and just drawing a little skinny stick like so. And if I highlight both of those shapes, I'm just going to vertically align the center of the two and then just nudge my um, stem up with my arrow keys so it sits in there quite nicely like so. So there's our little leaf. I'm going to add a smaller leaf coming off this stem here uh, by simply copying and pasting or if you want you can duplicate it so you can hold down alt and drag out a second copy of that leaf. Hold shift, resize it, 
Let's make it a bit smaller. Uh, give it a bit of a rotate so it's facing up. Let's see how you go getting it to come off that stem there. I reckon that looks pretty good. So if I zoom back now, I'm pretty happy with how that um, little I guess, twig with some leaves on it looks. So we're going to turn this into a brush like we did with this, these branches. So open up your brushes library again. Highlight your little leaves and drag them in. Okay, the same thing will happen again. It will say, uh, it will recognize that we're making a new brush. So make yourself an art brush, click on OK. Give it a name if you want, so we'll call it Leaves. Um, we'll scale it proportionally again and we'll change this colorization back to Tints. And I would probably make this number a bit smaller here. Maybe something around 60-70%, so a little bit smaller than its current size. And click on OK. You can see now we've got this um, Leaves brush in our Brushes library. So you can delete what's on the screen. This here can go. It's now stored in our brush library. Click on that leaves brush and using your paintbrush tool again, let's start drawing some leaves onto our branches. So I'll zoom in and show you what happens here. All you need to do is basically do what you did before. Click and drag out and get some leaves growing on your tree. Now they're not always going to look good, so have Control Z handy uh, because if you make a mistake, you can always press Control Z to undo it. Okay, so these are coming out pretty nicely actually at the moment. I'm pretty happy with how this is looking. Now that one looks a bit dodgy, so I'll press Ctrl Z to undo it and try again. Um, we don't really need another one here, but I'll put it in anyway. That's all looking pretty good. Let's come across over to this one now and do the same thing. So you don't have to wait around for me, just while I'm doing this, you can go and uh, do your copies. All right, so probably not the best job I've done, but it looks pretty decent. Okay, we've got the leaves now appearing on our tree, and I reckon that looks, yeah, it's okay. Um, hopefully yours looks a little slightly better than mine. I've probably got a few too many leaves facing downwards, um, but other than that, I think it's okay. It'll do for now. Last thing we're going to do in this video is just put the birds into the tree. They're going to be sitting on this little section just here. So we need two birds. We're just going to draw one and then copy and paste it to make the second one. So I'll zoom in a little bit on this section. To draw the birds, we just need the ellipse tool first up. Again, sort your colors out first. So black for the fill, stroke will be nothing. Oops, so turn it off. And we're just going to start by drawing a perfect circle. Hold shift, draw a little circle like so. Underneath that, we're going to draw an oval. It's a little bit, a little bit fatter, which is going to be the body of the bird. And if we just move it around, that's the head, that's the body. So at the moment, the head's probably a bit too big for the body. So I'll make the body a bit bigger. Might even make this head a little bit smaller. Okay, so that's the head of our bird, the body of the bird. We'll draw the beak next. You need the polygon tool for that. Let's click once on the page there. Make sure you've got a three-sided shape for the triangle and make it about 10 pixels for the radius. You can resize that beak in just a moment. We first first got to rotate it though, so just swing it around, resize it while holding shift and then just put him on the bird's face. Okay, it's got a little beak there. And then we need a tail. So to do the tail, we're going to use the rectangle tool. I'll just draw a skinny little rectangle like that. And what we're going to do is with the direct selection tool, white arrow, click on the top left hand anchor point once and then click on it a second time and drag it in a little bit towards the center. Do the same for the right anchor point. Okay, this is basically what the tail is going to look like. If you just attach it to the bird there, give it a bit of a rotate um, so it's on a bit of an angle. That'll look all right. Probably a bit long that tail, so I'll just move it up a bit. Okay, so there's a little bird. That looks good. So I'm going to highlight it and press Control G to group it together. I should probably put this on its own layer, so I might rename this to Bird. And I'm going to make some new layers here before I go too much further. So what I'm going to do, at the moment we've got layer 1, I'm going to call that Tree. And I'm going to make another layer above that called Birds. So to make a new layer, hit this little plus sign here inside a square. 
Double click on layer two and call it birds. And I'm gonna get you to expand on this tree layer and move the bird up into the birds layer. Okay, so everything on that tree layer now is part of the tree and then everything on the birds layer is just gonna be the birds. I'm gonna lock that tree into place as well so we don't touch any of that. Now with this bird, pick him up, move him down, sit him on the tree there. We'll see how he looks. He's probably a little bit small still, so we'll just resize him, make him a bit bigger. His um, tail in particular is probably a little bit small, so double click on that tail. You can actually move it down a little bit separately from the bird. Might even need a bit of a resize. When you've finished editing it, just double click out of it. And I think that looks all right. So I've got a little bird sitting there on the tree. Now what I'm going to do is click on this fella. Um, and I'm going to go transform, sorry, I'm going to right click on him, go to transform and reflect him. And that's going to turn him around. Now instead of pressing OK, I want you to press copy. And that makes a second copy of the bird that you can simply just move across. And now you've got two birds sitting there on the tree. I'm going to make this one a little bit smaller though than the other one. Um, we could probably zoom in here and just play around them a little bit. If you want, you can rotate them. So they're slightly looking towards each other. You want them reasonably close to each other. It's meant to be, I guess, a cute little picture. And if you zoom back, I think we have got it looking pretty decent. Okay, so that's all we're going to do in this first um, tutorial. We've got the tree branch sorted with some leaves, even though I'm not completely happy with mine. Hopefully yours look a bit better. And we've got our two little birds over here. So these layers are all done with, lock them both. And in the next video, we'll start on the starry night sky in the background. Okay, so I'll see you in that next video.